What's up? My name is Brandon. Welcome to The Bro Show. What are we going to talk about here? What do you think? Bro stuff. Today, we're going to talk about a staple in every bro's diet, the burrito. Now, it saddens me to learn that a lot of you are suckling at the teat of Chipotle whenever you need to get your fix of protein wrapped in a tortilla shell. Well, guess what? I got your back. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a sick burrito to keep that sick pump. First thing you're gonna wanna do, don't be a slob, wash your hands. Seriously, maybe if they had to wash their hands at Chipotle, there wouldn't be so much E. coli. Oh, snap! Whoop! Shots fired! Bum, bum, bum. Now that you've washed your hands, we gotta talk about the most important thing in any dude's kitchen, your knife a.k.a. your Atari Hanzo, a.k.a. your lightsaber, okay? Having a dough blade is like if your school decided that they were gonna build a pavilion next to a pond dedicated to unity. And in this pavilion, they were gonna have barbecue grills and it could be used for student activities. That way, you'd have a place to show up with your guns out and your sick tank showing off your pump. Only to find out that they put locks on it the second it's done. It's stupid. Thank God we don't need people like that. Anyway, you're going to want to sharpen that thing. But first, a bit of knife safety. My knife has a sick sheave on there. You know why? I have a nephew and I have nieces. And the last thing I want to see them do is cut the freaking fingers off. Now you're going to want to go in the fridge and you're going to want to get yourself a boneless, skinless, delicious chicken breast. Or chicken titty, whatever you want to call it. Now you're going to take your fresh, sharp knife and you're gonna dice that thing into little itty bitty cubes. After you've done that, you're gonna throw the ultimate seasoning on it, Larry seasoning salt. You can put Larry seasoning salt on anything. Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna come to a pan. You're gonna wanna put that pan over medium high heat, put a little bit of olive oil in there. Now, you're gonna add your chicken breast into it, and you're gonna let it sizzle. It's like the 4th of July in there. It's literally a Michael Bay movie taking place in that pan. Now, when we're talking about poultry, it is important imperative that you cook your chicken all the way through. Otherwise, you're gonna know the special joy of counting every single tile in your bathroom many times over. You're gonna have diarrhea is what, is what I'm trying to imply. You're gonna, it's where you, it's what I'm, it's the joke I was trying to make in case anyone didn't get that. Anyway, once your chicken's about halfway done, this is when we reach for the secret ingredient, the creme de la creme. See, when I cook my burritos, I want a little bit of flavor in there. I don't want to go beyond the border, I want to eliminate the border. I'm talking about an island, specifically a chain of islands, the Caribbean. This here is liquid flavor. Lord of mercy, we gonna put that all over that chicken. You know what I mean? Whoop! Oh God, look at that flavor. Mm. I wish you could smell this. I wish you could smell this. I wish you could smell this like Ray Charles wishes he could see. But he's dead now, so that joke was in poor taste. Anyway, back to the task at hand. Now, next thing you want to do is prepare yourself some brown rice with corn and beans. I know what you're saying. Brandon, chicken has protein, but what's this brown rice with corn and beans doing here? I'm glad you asked. Why don't you sit down so the professor can teach you? What you have in this pot is a complete protein. You see, brown rice is full of insoluble fiber, legumes, aka black beans, are full of protein, and corn is yellow, okay? It's yellow, I can tell you for sure, it's yellow, like that brick road Dorothy went down, right? It's, all, it's, it's also got fiber. Basically, that's just a big way of saying your poop schedule is gonna be A1. Now comes the assembly phase. What you're gonna wanna do, take your tortilla wrap, put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds, let it get real soft-like. I want it to be as soft as like Charmin toilet tissue or like as soft as like a baby's face. You want it to be pliable is what I'm trying to get at. Once that thing's done, pull it out of the microwave. Now we're gonna layer it up. We're gonna start with our corn, rice, and bean mixture. And you're gonna wanna add some cheese because cheese is pretty good. But don't go overboard with that cheese. Now we're gonna sneak some vegetables in there. The vegetables we're gonna sneak in there, kale and spinach. Now, we're gonna lay this sweet, delicious chicken. Mmm, God, whoa! Someone look at this chicken. Who cooked that chicken? 
Man, whoever cooked that chicken need to get locked up. That's too much flavor on a plate. Y'all dumb. Now that you got this thing together, you want to wrap it. I like to wrap my burritos like Cubans wrap cigars, tight and illegally. Wait a minute, they're not going to be illegal for too much longer. Thank you, Obama, for lifting that trade embargo. Okay, well, this burrito decided that it wanted to split. But you know what? We're just going to take a piece of spinach, boop, put it over top. Ain't no one going to know, baby. <laughs> it's still going to look fancy. The French call that garnish. <laughs> I call it duct tape. Now, you can cut it in half and make it look all sexy-like. You can even put a glass of wine next to it. But seriously, look at me. Look at me in my eyes. Look at me, bro. Are you seriously? Are you seriously gonna eat that burrito and drink that wine? Do you even lift? I guarantee this burrito will keep your pump sick and the ladies on you. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. And lastly, we're gonna close with some wisdom, some bro wisdom. It's like my coach always told me, you can't put jam on a Cheerio and call it a Fruit Loop. This has been The Bro Show. Are we done? Can we go home? Can we leave now? I'm, wow, I made an idiot of myself. <laughs>